and welcome to another Lawn Vaughn video. Today we're taking a look and making some projects with the new Scallop Circle Gift Tag die. This die cuts out a scallop circle with a hole for a gift tag. It also cuts out a stitch circle to layer on top. There's a heart that you can layer and some little tags and some little reinforcing circles. So let's take a look at the pieces that this die cuts out. So first there's that scallop circle with a hole at the top for the tag and a stitching detail around it. There's also the plain circle that has a stitching detail and you can layer these two pieces together or use them separately. There's also a outside in stitch heart so it has a stitching detail on the heart that's cut out as well as a stitching detail around the window. So you could cut this heart out and layer it over top of something else or you could use the die cut heart. So you can use the negative or the positive space. There's also this little tag that cuts out that you could layer at the top. And there's two sizes of reinforcing circles. So there's a fatter one that looks great on the large tag. And then there is a smaller one that looks good on that little banner tag that's at the top of my, I can't pick it up, it's so small. <laughs> It looks good on that little banner tag or you can layer it on the circle as well. So for my first project I'm going to create three little tags and I'm going to use the new snow globe scenes stamps. These fit perfectly in the circle of this tag die set. So I've gone ahead and colored and cut out three little scenes here. I have that little fox and I've also die cut those little constellations of stars. I've got the gingerbread and the Christmas tree. So I cut all my scallop circles from some glitter cardstock, and then I'm gonna layer those behind my patterned paper circles that I cut from some Let It Shine paper. So I'm just going to layer my little scenes that I've cut, and you can see how the circle that the die cuts at the bottom of that scene is gonna fit perfectly with the circle of the tag. Now I'm going to add a couple of those little star constellations. It cuts all three with one pass of the die, but I'm only going to use two of these. And then for the sentiment on those little banner dies or bat banner tags at the top, I'm going to use the tiny sentiments in this snow globe scene set. And I'm going to flatten them out so they're nice and straight. And they fit perfectly on these little fishtail banner tags at the top. So on this red one, I'm going to wide emboss it. So I'm going to stamp it with some clear ink. I'm gonna add some white embossing powder to it. And then I will just heat that up with my heat tool. So this one says joy to you. And then I'm also gonna stamp out the one that says let it snow on the pink little banner there. And I'll stamp out the sentiment that says be merry on that cream colored one. So because I cut the scallop circle that I'm gonna layer behind out of glitter paper, I'm going to use my liquid glue to adhere this pattern paper circle down to the glitter. So this will hold it nice and securely and you can just line that up so you get that glittery scallop frame around your little tag. And then I'm also going to take the really small reinforcing circle and just add a little bit of glue to that and I'm going to layer that over the whole of this little sentiment banner that I created. So I did the same to all the little sentiment banners and now I'm gonna assemble the rest of my tags. So my cute little gingerbread here is going to go on this cut from the pink paper for a pink sky. And then my Christmas tree is gonna go on the red. So what I discovered when I added my Christmas tree is that tree is so tall, it actually covers up the hole. So I'm gonna shift it down And then I'm going to line up the die that cut that circle with the stitching detail in the hole. I'm gonna line it back up with that piece of pattern paper. And I'm gonna run it back through my die cut machine and cut off that excess part of the ground where my tree is sitting. So it's actually going to cut it off perfectly, which you could do with scissors, but this is gonna add the stitching detail to the bottom and make sure that that curve is nice and even. 
so you can see it has that nice stitched edge on the bottom. So that's just another way you could do these tags if you wanted that stitching detail around the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the gold glitter circle. Making sure I line up my holes at the top. And then my gingerbread will get added to a pixie dust white glitter scallop circle. And then I decided to go ahead and secure the little sentiment banners just with a little bit of glue to the top of each one of these. You could just put your string through it and secure the two together that way and it would kind of hang loosely, but I wanted them to sort of stay in the same place and not move around. So I'm just adding a little dab of glue right near the hole and just lining those up. So now I can take my peppermint twine here. I'm just gonna cut a little piece of it, put the two ends together, and I'm gonna thread them through the back of the tag and pull it through and then pull it through itself. So I'm gonna pull it through the loop so it's secured to the tag here, and then I can just tie a knot at the top to make a loop. And of course, I'll just do that same thing to all three tags so that they match. And then finally, I'm adding a little bit of Stardust Stickles just as accents to all these. I'm adding it to the ornaments on the tree. And I'm also adding it to the snow on each of these little scenes. I put some on that white icing on top of the gingerbread house. And then I'm also going to add just a little dot to all these little stars in the constellations that the little fox is looking at. And then here are those finished tags. I think they are just adorable. So now I'm going to use those same tags to create a card. So I'm making a slimline card. I've already cut out all my scallop circles and all my plain circles out of some Let It Shine paper. Now I'm cutting the letters J-O-Y to spell out joy, and I'm cutting that out of the gold metallic paper. You can also see that I have a slimline card cut there as well as a red and white striped panel that will layer on top of that. So I'm just adding one letter to each tag. And three of these tags fit on a slimline card perfectly. And I'm just making sure I have these nice and straight. And then I have the little bears from Den Sweet Den and Snow Much Fun. And I've stamped all them on some craft card stock just with some walnut ink. And this way I have these nice craft bears. You don't have to color them in with markers. I'm going to take a colored pencil and just color the muzzles on each of the bears just so there's a little bit of contrast in color. But this is a way to create some quickly colored images by using some colored cardstock. I like to do this a lot. I also like to white emboss them in different colors as well. Then I can layer my tags together. So I'm layering that cream with the gold dot and the letter over top of that teal scalloped one. And each of these little tags is going to have some of these little bears decorating them. So you can see I'm just laying my little bears kind of which tag they're going to go to. They're not glued down yet. And then this little guy, he's going to pop up from behind that one in the middle. So I'm going to take that striped panel that I had cut. And I'm just going to layer that on my slimline card. So this card is 3.5 by 8.5. And, and I just cut this slightly smaller so I've got a little white border around it. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie my bows to each of these. So instead of threading it through the hole, I'm just going to tie a bow 
and I'm just going to glue it to the front. So I'm using some peppermint twine, but I'm also using some thin red gross grain ribbon that I had in my stash. And I'm tying the two together, and I just think this makes the bow look a little bit fuller. And they're going to look really cute on the top of each of these tags. I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape to the back of it. And I'm going to start in the center so that I can make sure my tags are all lined up. So I'm going to start with the O. I put a little foam tape so it's popped up off the background just a little bit. And that way this little bear can fit behind it when I'm ready to glue him down. And then I'm going to put a glue dot right above the hole to put my little bow on. And I'm also putting a dot of liquid glue. So that glue dot's going to hold it in place for now. That liquid glue is going to make it super secure once it dries. So I'm just gluing that over the hole of the tag so it looks like these are tied onto the card base. And then I can trim off the excess length of my ribbons. So now that I have that first tag on there, I'm going to go ahead and take the little bear that's going to kind of pop out from behind and just tuck him in there. And then this way I can make sure that I space the tag above in the proper place so that he doesn't get too crowded. So I'm going to add foam tape to the back of my other two tags and I'm just going to add the J at the top and then of course the Y at the bottom. And then for both of these I'm going to tie a bow just like I did for the one in the center using the peppermint twine tied together with the thin red ribbon. And of course, I'm just going to attach that again with the glue dot and a little dot of liquid glue. So you can see how those bows really kind of fill the card up, even though all the things we have on there are pretty simple. I just like the texture that all these ribbons add. So now I can start adding the bears to the other tags. So these are going to be popped up on some foam dots, just so they're sort of sitting up from the tag a little bit and it's not too flat. And I'm just using thin foam dots here so that they're not, they don't have too much dimension. And then the little sleepy guy is going to go in the middle below the O. And then finally I have some stars that I've cut with the die out of that holographic cardstock. And I'm just adding those sprinkled around just for a little bit extra shine to this card and to sort of fill the space a little more. And then here is my finished card. And I just think it is so cute with those little bears around the tags. Now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Grace created this cute slimline card with a new piece on earth stamps paired with these snow globe scenes. And I just love these cute little scenes that she created across this card. It is just so adorable. Megan created these really lovely tags with the snow globe scenes. I love that bright red scallop circle framing up those cute little nighttime scenes. Elena's tags are so much fun. I love how she used Santa's legs from the new Shadowbox Fireplace add-on to create these fun tags. I really love the contrast on Audrey's tags with that dark night sky and then that brightly colored Christmas tree in the foreground. And then Mindy created some simple tags with a distressed ink blended background and some holographic snowflakes. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.